you're a god power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Your God Power and Religion God Power and Religion are naturally compatible. Most all religious faiths have said that as you believe, so shall it be, that if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you shall move mountains. Your God Power is your ability to assign meaning to any situation or circumstance and cause it to change in a way that becomes beneficial to you. So if you believe, that you have changed the meaning and you have the faith and belief of a mustard seed then you should be able to move mountains your God power and psychology in psychology it's all about self-esteem since your God power is all about changing the meaning of a circumstance or event to one that makes you feel better and is in accord with your wants desires and beliefs then the natural result of this change in meaning will be a boost in self-esteem. It has always been the mainstay of the self-help movement to put a positive spin on every situation, to restate the event so that it is in a more positive light. This is the essence of your God power. However, your God power goes way beyond changing the meaning of a situation just to feel better. Using your God power, you change the meaning of the situation to actually change the situation. In that regard, your God power goes way beyond the low expectations of psychology from just feeling better about it to actually causing it to work out better for real. The main difference in this work and the conventional psychology is that in psychology you are mainly focused on feeling better with no expectations of actually changing your reality in a real way. With the use of your God power, you are not only feeling better, but you are actually changing your reality in a very real way. Your God power and biology. Your body basically has two states, growth or protection. While in the state of growth, it is flourishing and all good things are happening. Your cells are being nourished and the best chemical signals are being sent. In short, it's a perfect state of health. However, if your body is in the state of protection, it is partially shut down. The cells go without nourishment. Your body begins to change its own genes and even its DNA, exposing and even creating such traits as cancer. It is this fight or flight mode that puts your immune system on hold. Diseases that were being held off now begin to take hold and grow. In short, while your body is in the protection mode, everything that you don't want is happening. While your body is in the growth mode, everything that you do want is happening. Ideally, you always want to keep your body in the growth mode. So, how does your God power figure into these two states? Perfectly. You change the state of your body by your thoughts and perception. If you perceive the situation as a bad one, you automatically send your body into a state of protection, resulting in a cascade of unwanted results. However, if you perceive the situation as a good one, you automatically set your body into a state of growth and all the beneficial results that cascade from that state. Things that were going wrong now begin to heal. Cells that need food and certain chemicals get them. Since your God power is the ability to change meaning or how you perceive the situation, you can always choose to perceive the situation as a good one with possibilities and opportunities and set your body back into the growth state of optimum health. However, 
If you continue to perceive the situation as a bad one, you will elicit a state of protection from your body which will cause untold amount of damage and harm. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 1, Segment Number 17. Let your quest for knowing continue.